Hello Horlick High School. This is a video basically walking us through my learning plan and um, in particular our goals for this video are to log into my learning plan um, and then look at any professional development that you've enrolled in, talk about how you can enroll in professional development, um, and then kind of just some things you can do on the front page of my learning plan. My hope and goal for all of my videos are to keep them under about five minutes so it should not take too much of your time. Um, so let's get right to it. How do you get to my learning plan? Well, we need to get to the employee portal. And there's really two ways that you can access the employee portal. The first way is just through the Racine Unified website. Uh, so I'll show you that way. If you go to for staff and then employee portal, um, it will take you to the employee portal. Another option is if you want to use ClassLink, there is a, um, a app or icon for employee portal. And that's right here on my screen. It may be a little different for you in terms of what it is, but it looks like three people. So if you click that, it will bring you to the same place that I am at right now, which is the employee portal. Uh, on the right hand side, there's a list of links. And if we scroll down, these links are listed in alphabetical order. We want to find my learning plan. So if we click that, it will bring us to the uh, my learning plan uh, frontline education login page and the login for this is the same as your login for all of your other um, RUSD devices so your EID and your password if we log in um, it will bring you to the um, kind of home page of uh, my learning plan on this home page uh, you've got some different sections on the top this is kind of uh, professional development that you are involved in or um, upcoming professional development also in this area you can um, see right here uh, I've got my bloodborne pathogens training that I've um, done and completed already but if you've not done that yet it may be in the uh, wait list up here that you need to actually complete that if you're asked to actually enroll in a PD um, that would be found along this left hand side and you'd want to click the thing called district catalog so if you click district catalog um, it will bring up uh, basically in chronological order various professional developments that you can enroll in you are able to use this search bar to search for whatever it is you're needing to enroll in but um, if we take a look number two is the bloodborne pathogen so if, if you don't see it on your front page of my learning plan you may need to enroll in it um, and that's uh, basically right here at number two or you could search for it now, if you do need to enroll in a professional development, I, I've already done the Bloodborne Pathogens enrollment, so it won't look quite the same as if you need to enroll in a PD, but I'll uh, click this FERPA and HIPAA one. Um, now, if I wanted to enroll in this professional development, which wouldn't really be uh, appropriate for me as a teacher, um, I can click this Sign Up Now button, and that will actually register you for that professional development. If you do wander off from the main page of my learning plan to get back to the, um, the home page, if you click this PD and evaluation button here in the top left, well, it's not really a button, but it's a link. If you click that, it will bring you back to the home page of um, my learning plan. So that's kind of what I wanted this video to discuss is just kind of logging into my learning plan and uh, discussing how you can enroll in professional development opportunities. Uh, so that's all for now, and we will. See you guys in another video.